Automatic spiral oil press. Structure, installation, debugging, and operation. Part one: Structure. This type of oil press is mainly composed of five parts: automatic control, heating and pressing, adjustment, transmission, and vacuum oil filter. The automatic control consists of an air switch, AC contactors, a temperature controller, and the circuit automatic safety devices. The heating and pressing consists of a heater, press bolts, press bars, and body assembly components. The transmission consists of a spindle, a gearbox, pulleys, and motors. The adjustment consists of an adjusting screw, an adjusting nut, a handle, and a lock nut. The vacuum oil filter consists of a vacuum pump and two oil filter drums. Part two, installation. When the oil press is installed, leave enough space around for the stuff to operate. Place first leave the machine in a horizontal position to keep it stable. Secondly, adjust the oil filter drums to the level state. And then, fit the two air suction tubes out of the air reservoir with C rings. And connect them with the exhaust connections of the two oil filter drums respectively. Tighten the joints with a wrench to avoid the escape of air. After installation, in a place three to five meters away from the machine, put the earth wire underground with a depth of 0.5 to one meter before operating the machine. Part three, debugging. Before use, read the manual carefully. To familiarize with the machine's performance and operation procedure, before starting the machine, a full inspection should be performed. The fasteners should not be loosened. The handles should be rotated flexibly. Turn the pulleys by hand to ensure all running parts be normal, and there should not be abnormal noises. Then add the number twenty machine oil to the gearbox. Till the surface of the oil reaches the center of the pinion shaft below the gearbox. Loosen the lock nut and turn the adjusting screw counterclockwise to make the cone fish of the press bolt abut against the cone surface of the oil kick outlet. Then turn the adjusting screw through to four circles clockwise. 
so as to leave a space of two to three millimeters between the press bolt and oil kick outlet. Then tighten the lock nut before turning the machine on. Open the electricity box door and connect the three live wires of the power inlet to terminals L1, L2, L3, respectively. Connect the neutral wire to terminal N and turn on the power air switch to the open position. Then the machine power is on. Depending on different oil seeds, adjust the temperature meter 3 to the required temperature 120 to 200 centigrade. Turn the main heating switch 6 to heat the machine. Then the indicator light on the thermal graph turns green. And when the temperature rises to the set value, light then turns red. The temperature of the machine is automatically controlled and maintained at the set temperature of 120 to 200 centigrade. When the temperature is low, Turn on the heating switch 5 to heat oil plate so as to facilitate the flow of oil. Press the main unit's forward rotation button 7 to start the main unit and the screw shaft should be rotated counterclockwise. If the rotation direction is incorrect, adjust the power input joint. After the machine is installed, it should start toil operation. The method is to slowly fit yeast oil kicks into the hopper and repeatedly press them to make the barrel and screw smooth and oil kick formed easily. Attention! At the beginning, do not pour the oil seeds directly into the hopper, and it is advisable to use hand feeding to prevent the screw shaft from being jammed. Feeding so fast may bring about abnormal sound in the barrel that the screw shaft would get stuck. In that case, stop operation immediately and remove the obstruction. Start to grind after the machine is resembled. Do not drag it forcefully or pull the oil seat out upside down. Part 4. Operation Pre-processing oil seats Before being pressed, the oil seed should be dried and saved to reduce its moisture content to less than 12% and its impurity to less than 0.5%. Many users neglect the pre-processing and take it for granted that the pre-processing is dispensable without knowing that the dust in the not saved or poorly saved oil seeds would block the channel for oiling. Moreover, gravel in the oil seeds will exacerbate the wear of parts, which not only affect normal operation of the oil press, but also greatly shorten the service life of the press bolts, press bars, and oil cake outlet. If the oil seeds are mixed with such a hard objects as a block of metal, the press bolt will be easily damaged. Therefore, 
It can't be too careful to sift oil seeds. Then twice as much can be accomplished with half the effort. Frying seeds. Although this machine is suitable for cold pressing, the productivity and output of hot pressing are higher. Firstly, fry oil seeds over high heat. To the extent they begin to crackle, then fry them over the slow fire till they crack and turn brownish red. Do not add water when frying. It is about time to press oil seeds. When the temperature of oil seeds remains 120 to 130 centigrade, and the moisture keeps about 1.5 percent, pressing oil seeds. When the oil pressing starts, feed oil seeds at an even speed. In the normal state, the machine operates smoothly with a rhythmic sound. And oil cakes with a thickness of one to two millimeter each are left easily in the shape of broken tiles. Rough inside while glossy outside in brownish red, and oil channel remains unblocked. Light pressing produces no oil residues, but heavy pressing will generate a few. Hot oil cakes must be spread out in time to avoid spontaneous combustion. Filtering oil. Seal the oil filter drums tightly with clean filter cloth first. After the oil is produced and flows onto the filter drum, press the vacuum pump button 11 to start the pump. When the air in the filter drums is expelled out, the negative pressure is formed in the drums, so that the oil above the filter cloth is naturally saved into the drums. While the residues are isolated on the filter cloth, when the oil pressing is completed and oil on the filter cloth is drained, stop the vacuum pump and open the exhaust valves three and four on the filter drum. The dried residues are left oil filter cloth. Scrape them off with a scraper. And then discharge the purified oil through the valve on the bottom of the oil filter drum. Powering off the machine. Stop feeding oil seeds first. And meanwhile, adjust the gap between the press board and oil cake outlet. And then put into a small amount of oil cake crumbs. After all the oil seeds and crumbs in the barrel are drained, and no oil cake comes out from the oil cake outlet, press the stop the machine button. After the machine is shut down, turn the adjusting screw clockwise one to three laps, and then turn off the electric switch eight.